Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will continue uh, with intermediate algorithm scripting with the missing letters uh, exercise. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. We need to find the missing letter in the past letter range and return it. If it, if all of them are present, then we need just to return undefined. Here we have some examples. Uh, a, B, C, E should return D because D was missing there. Okay, so um, my idea is that we should use, we should convert these uh, characters A, B, C, E into ASCII code. And usually ASCII code, um, so there's an ASCII code corresponding to each character. And for consecutive letters like A, B, C, D, also the ASCII code should be consecu a consecutive number. Okay, but uh, I think it would be better explained through the code. Let's try something here. So I'm going to do console um, dot log str zero. Let's see the first letter, which is A. Uh, I think we can do something like dot code at char and then zero hmm. wait I have to check the method actually the method in JavaScript is char code at and this one returns the ASCII uh, the code for uh, the letter A okay if we try one it's 98 and two it's 99 because we have a B C uh, in this case a B C and for E, so the third, you'll see 101. So we jumped one because we skipped D. Okay, so we're going to use this. Um, so first thing, I want to, I want to to range through. I want to create a, a for loop going through all the uh, characters from the start A to E. And then we can try to find the missing one. So to do that, I'm going to create a start. I'm just going to call this let start B. And then I'm going to start at, in, at uh, the first character, at A. And then let um, finish B, str, char code at and now we want the last character in the string and to do that, uh, to get that index, I'm going to use str.length minus one. Okay, so this is how we get the code for the last element in the string. Let's console log this so we, so we can see better what we are doing. Start, finish. Okay, 97, 101. Okay, cool. Now, uh, I want to iterate through all the letters from the code 97 to 101. Okay, how can I do that? I'm going to create a for loop. For, I'm going to start i at the start. I'm going to make i smaller than equal to finish. And I'm going to increment by 1 because the codes always increment by one from A to B to C to D. Okay, let's remove this console log here. Let's try to console log what we get. Console log. And now I want to uh, convert the code into a character. Okay, and for that there is a method in uh, JavaScript string. String dot uh, I I have to check that. So that method is from char to code, and it's going to be uh, i. i is going to be the code. Wait, let... i okay from char code. So here we see that we have A, B, C, D, E printed. 
because we are going through from um, the start code of A until the E. And we also have D in this case. Now, to find the missing um, letter in the string, we can just check uh, through each iteration, check with uh, the first element in this uh, the, in the first iteration, the, console, the code will correspond to the first, should correspond to the first element in the string. And then the second, uh, in the second iteration, the code should correspond to the second letter in the string. And if we find an iteration where the code doesn't correspond to the letter, then we find that a missing letter. Okay? We can do something here. So um, I'm just trying out something with console log. Now I want to get the uh, element with the correct index. So str dot i minus start. Why am I doing i minus start? Because I want to get the index 0 in the first iteration. And since we start uh, i at the start number, then this one will give me 0 in the first iteration and 1 and 2 in the next ones. OK? So this will give us the letter for that iteration. And we want to check if it's equal to this one. OK, let's try that. Um, let's call this let code, I'm going to call this um, code letter and this one let str letter. Okay. And now I want to check if this is equal, if code letter is equal to str letter. Or better, let's just check only the case where, it, where it's different. So we want to check if the code letter is different from the string letter, then uh, that code letter is the one that is missing. Okay? So I, if that is the case, then I just want to return that code letter. I'm going to remove this here so that it returns undefined if this one uh, runs. So when we go through the loop, if we cannot find a code letter which is not equal to string letter, then it just returns undefined. That means that all the letters are present in the range. Let's console log what this already does. Okay. Yep, yeah, it gives us D. I think let's uh, let's run this. I think this should work. Yeah, perfect. Okay, guys, um, that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll continue with sorted union. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.